little reindeer as a Christmas card. But what I wanted to do was foil the little baubles that are on him and the birds that are around the little robin. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to colour because I think um, just this time I want to see how it turns out and where the colours are going. So I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous foils. I've got three colours here. I've got the gold, red and green and they're really really pretty so we're going to be using those and obviously I've got my um, foil adhesive as well so we've, we're going to start off by putting our foil adhesive in the places that we want the foil to go now the key with the foil adhesive is to put as little on as you can so then we're going to go down to this little ball here and we're going to paint in making sure our circle's nice and then paint it all in making sure to get the edges nicely done if we can like so and then we're going to do the next one this little one up here making sure as I say to get those edges and then this one and the key with the fo uh, foil adhesive is to make sure it dries. Now foil adhesive is um, a special adhesive for foiling and it goes, when it dries, it doesn't actually dry dry, it dries to like a tacky finish. So you want it to dry to that tacky finish. If you don't, if you try and put the foil on when it's wet, um, then it won't, the foil won't stick. Um, if that happens and you've done it too soon, it's not the end of the world. Just give it a few minutes to let that gap where you've put the foil in and there's been a hole where it hadn't quite dried. Just leave it a few minutes, let that dry and then reapply the foil and it will kind of patchwork that together for you anyway. So you should be fine. But obviously it's better if you can to kind of get it right in the first place. Okay, so I'm just going to let those dry completely and then come back to you when that's done okay so that's dry enough now you can kind of see look it kind of goes flat and it goes like a glistening see-through rather than that milky white and also you note um i've done his nose as well because i thought that would be fun so i'm going to start off actually by putting the nose on nice red nose for rudolph and just gently put the foil down color side up and rub carefully like so and then just lifting up making sure and there you can see and you can see how glistening it is and if there's any little gaps that you're not happy about just go back and rub again and that'll fill in anything there we go that's his nose done and then I'm going to do the big bauble down the bottom here and gently rub that on there we go and you see how amazing that looks and that really is going to give such a dimension to the card and the reason I colour after is so that like where there is the red there I can colour that edge in because it's very hard to get the edges perfect um, so it's best to try sometimes just to say what the heck and just colour it after if you can and then I'm just going to do that one over there in green I think probably should have done that one the red one but anyway not to worry lifting that off and then we've got my gold one which I'm going to put there and then just lifting that piece up it's always the hardest bit it's getting hold of it to lift it there we go and then I think I'm going to do another gold one over here there we go so let me show you those in the light so you can really see how they're glistening ok 
Okay, so we're now going to colour in our little Rudolph and I've picked up, I'm going to use my Pro Markers today because I haven't used those for a while and I thought some of you might have Pro Markers and I haven't used them for a while so it might be nice for you to see me using the Pro Markers for a change. So I've picked up some colours here that I think will be nice. I've got um, cinnamon, cocoa, tan, vanilla, poppy, fabulous red, love poppy, um, this beautiful little pink, pale pink and then cool grey five. So not too many colours, I wanted to keep it quite simple um, and the, so the brownie colours are going to be both for Rudolph and our little birds so let's get going. So I'm going to start with my three tanny colours that I'm going to be using on my Rudolph here. So we're going to be doing it with the cocoa is the darkest so I'm just going to take the lids off so they're all ready to go and then uh, cinnamon is the next darkest. So we're putting them down in order because I find that helps and then tan is the lightest of the three. Start with um, the cocoa. So I'm going to do the darkest first and I'm going to start on his head. So let me just bring you down a bit closer so that you can see it all happening a bit clearer. Starting on his head, as I said, I want to keep it quite simple. So a nice simple colour. Um, actually, before I do that, I am going to just run around his nose with the poppy around that edge where it was a little bit untidy so that we get a nice finish to our foiling there. There we go, you can see that just looks a little bit neat. Okay, so starting with Coco, so we're just going to follow really the drawing. So the drawing is telling us that this part here is going to be darker and I'm going to be thinking that uh, it's kind of coming this way, the light, so we're going to have this side more shaded but also he's got whiskery bits around here to give him that shape and then obviously under his nose will be darker and on his chin here and because we're going to say that the light's coming from the other side this side of the cheek will be darker as well okay so now we're going to go to my cinnamon and you're going to just go up to that line you're not going to go over what you've already done you're just kind of going up to it so that the two colours will blend together but you'd, if you go right over the top it will um, get rid of the colour that was there it will blend it away and move it so you don't want to do that okay and then the palest colour which is our tan and we're just going to pop that in here, just carefully not going over his eyes because there is some um, little white bits on there. Now I am deliberately now just moving some of that over. Okay, and I'm going to go back with my dark colour and that's my cocoa. So you can just see where you can then just add that shading back in a little bit where it's kind of got moved away and then again just with our cinnamon And then back with the tan and as you see it's going to dry out and so again you're just building up these layers just to make sure that the darkest bits are really just coming through nicely I think that looks okay and now we're going to go on to his little ears here so I'm going to do 
the back of the ear I'm just going to do it in a simply in a dark colour in the, the um, cocoa I think it is yep and the same on this side I'm not going to worry too much about shading or anything it's such a small area and then I'm going to take my pale pink and just go in his ears here and then we're going to get my tan and just blend some of that through because he will have fur in his ears so we just want to put a little bit of that colour in there like so. Okay so then the next thing I need to do is his little body. I think I'm going to leave the horns for the moment and I'm going to do his body. So we're going to start again with my cocoa and obviously under his neck here will be the darkest area and then under his tummy now because it's quite a small area and we're not going too detailed I think we can afford to do the whole area in, in one go I'm going to do that back leg completely in the cocoa And then this bit. Okay, and then we're going to get my uh, cinnamon. And as I say, don't go over the area that you've already done. Just go up to it so it blends that edges in. And I don't want to have it too dark on the top of his body because that's where the lightest area will be. So. And just down the front of this leg with the that, and then we're going to get my tan. There we go, and then I'm just going to go back in with my cocoa just to highlight a little bit of the darker areas like the back leg here under the tummy area this back leg down here under his neck like so and then just again taking a cinnamon just to blend that out a little bit more doesn't look too bad now for his little tail I think they often have quite um, pale tails now I just want to go back in with this color just down here just to lighten that area a little bit there see by using the lighter color we're just pushing that back slightly because it was just a little bit too much that's better, that will be fine once that dries. Anyway, as I was saying, on the tail they're often quite pale, so I'm going to just use my cinnamon as the darker colour and on the top, but you often find that sort of the underneath part is quite pale, so I'm just going to use that. And actually I will go in to make the contrast and use my darker colour there. There we go. I think that looks good and then I think for his little hoofs we're going to use um, this dark grey colour now I am going to put some of the brown on as well just to blend it into the tones of, of our Rudolph and I'm going to use my dark brown just to almost as I say just go over the top of that colour so it stops it from being grey but it it still gives it a kind of darker look and then I'm going again just at the back edge of that hooves just again to give it a darker look now for the horns I think we need I've got this vanilla colour and I think that would be quite cool so I'm just going to use it on his tail as well and on his 
body just a little bit up the top here and on the face there we go so what I want to do is on the horns is to use the vanilla and I'm going to go in with that first and then we can add colour as we see fit because I'm not quite sure and I think I'm just going to use the tan as my shadowy colour here and then go back in with the vanilla and just really I want to keep them quite pale I don't know I think they might normally be darker but it doesn't matter for what I'm doing and then uh, vanilla again and then just going in again with our tan just on the lower edges here and it's all quite rough it's not you know very fussy and just keep it that way and again just going back in like that so that's our vanilla colour now I just want to go back in over this face here I'm still not happy with this face I'm just going to go over this area here and then add some of this darker colour. And then our cinnamon. over my, the body just to darken some of that up a little bit And then the cinnamon. And then a tan. And we put that in the middle here. And it's just about layering really, you just keep layering the colour up and it just gets a really good effect eventually. You just keep going until you get what you like. So once that dries it will be it will make quite a difference but I'm happy with that right now. So now we're going to do our little um, tweet tweets here, little robins. So I'm going to use I think the vanilla again just to bring a little lighter note to it and the tan and the cinnamon colour so that we've got a slightly paler than our little uh, Rudolph. So we'll put that to one side and I'm going to start with actually the Robin Red Breast. I'm going to actually start with his little tummy. So we're going to in just about here. So as you can see he's got a little beak as well but we'll just be very careful and very light. I'm not going to be um, 
shading on his tummy or anything there's not enough to worry about and while we're here I'm going to do the tummy on the other one as well like so and actually I do need one more colour because he's got his little beak and I still need the red as well but I want like an orange to go on his beak okay so I've got uh, bright orange so literally just going to do it on this little beak piece here which is hardly going to show to be honest but it's worth doing it in the orange there we go and then I need the red back actually because I need to do the little uh, Santa hat that they're wearing so we'll just colour that in Now you could put the um, thin nibs, the ultra fine nibs on this for these little bits but I can't be bothered to go and get them. Not just for that little bit, it's not worth it. It was fine as it is. Okay so now let's do their bodies. So I'm thinking the wing will be the paler colour so we'll leave that with the vanilla and the tan and we'll do the cinnamon and the tan for the body. So we'll just grab this one here. So we're going to do cinnamon up under his hat and coming around like so and then just going down into the tan. And I actually think that it's not enough of a contrast and I'm going to use my cocoa instead so a little bit of cocoa around here and then a little bit down here and by the wing and then we'll go in with the tan just in the middle to blend that all in together I think that looks better okay and then for the wing I'm going to get the vanilla first and then I'm going to go in with the tan like so and then go back with my vanilla and I think that looks just fine and then we're going to go over to the other one and do exactly the same so that's our little Robin's done. I think they look very cute. Um, so that's our finishing in the colouring. So now I'm just going to get my... I was going to get my stickles actually, but I think I will wait and do the stickles once I've stuck it down because then I can um, not have to worry about smudging the stickles. Okay. I've got some bits and pieces here that I um, put together to make my card with. Um, which I think will be really fun. Now, um, this came from a Do Crafts Christmas pack. I can't remember the name of it. It was just loose, unfortunately. I've got some washi tape. I've got these gorgeous little snowball um, crystal stickers, uh, stickers, little beads to use. As I say, I've got some washi tape. I've picked up the um, holly leaves. I've got some gorgeous crystal gems here which are really sparkly so I'm hoping to use those somewhere as well I'm not sure I've got this happy Christmas paper which I'm going to use this is six by six so I need to take that down very slightly I've got some gold mirror card oh my envelope which I don't need for the moment I've got this gorgeous red glitter paper and then I've got two pieces of sort of um, almost like winter white cardstock and from this I'm going to create my card base which I want to be to fit my envelope and I'm just going to double check but I think the envelope is six by six. Now I'm going to start constructing this card so the first thing I want to look at is my actual piece of paper now I'm trying to think I think I want to put that just straight down as it is on my 
card there. I don't think I want any borders or anything around it. So I'm just going to get my Cosmic Shimmer Glue. And I like using this wet glue um, because it gives you some time to move things around if you need to. And this Cosmic Shimmer is really great glue for... Um, flat sticking stuff this is now my favorite glue for kind of flat work and obviously my glue gel is my favorite glue for dimensional or like if I've got a piece of ribbon and I need to just it's not exactly dimensional but I need that extra height even though you don't you need to go over a piece of ribbon but it needs to give the appearance of being flat so you've seen me do it enough times so then I'm just going to pop that on a card front says hoping it is yes and this is gorgeous because it's got the really um, lovely foiled effect there so that's going to really mix in nicely with our little um, Rudolph there now I want a nice lot of that showing so before we do that uh, before we do anything more on that rather I should say I'm going to put on the inside this Merry Christmas. This is a tag that came as part of that card set. I have to say, I can't remember the paper pack name. I know it was um, Paper Mania, but, um, which is by Do Crafts, but I can't quite remember the name of the actual set, I'm afraid. I kind of had a loose load of Christmas bits done and I just can't remember it. So I'm going to pop that down in the centre of my card here. I'm doing the inside before I do any more on the outside because it's just simpler than not having to worry about touching the outside and messing it up. And, and I'm just going to look whether I was just thinking that it might be quite fun to put a piece of this washi tape just across the top here just to, um, just to add a little something on the top. Now you know what I'm like, I want to get the tree roughly evenly spread. She says they're making it wonky. Um, because I don't I don't like it. If it finished with a deer and then a tree, I just think that doesn't look right. I like it to look even and I think it's details like that that make it look professional. And I think it makes a big difference. There we go. Cut that too badly. And then I'm just going to use that to create a tag so that my washi tape is easy to get out off again next time. So we've got basically, um, if I turn it this way, you can see we've got a little line at the top, and that's just trees and reindeer. And then at the bottom, we've got our little. Um, Merry Christmas tag. So I think that works really nicely. Again, just makes a little something on the inside. Okay. And I think the red and white of that matches that really nicely as well. Okay. And then I've got now to have a little look at my uh, little reindeer. Now I want to try and make him square if I can. So let's have a look. He's at the moment four inches by... three and three quarters so we could probably make him three and three quarters square he's two and three quarters wide by just about three inches high so he's almost square and then what I want to do and I put this away so I need it is I wanted to put a gold layer of Miri and then a um, Piece of the so glitter. Cut my um, gold Mary card to uh, just an eighth under three inches. And I want to do it that way around because that was a neater piece. So about to there. See how that fits that fits nicely and then I want to do him how he's just about three inches and so we want to do it three and an eighth okay and then just see if that fits perfect 
nice little sil uh, gold border around that. And then we want to do our glitter piece. So we did three and an eighth. So I want to do maybe, let's try three and a half to give a bit of glitter showing here. And we'll, we can always change it in a minute. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so we'll use that and stick those together. I wanted it a little bit thicker on the glitter just to give it a bit more of a nice look. So let's stick this together. So the glitter, because we're going on to glitter, I'm going to use my glue gel because there's no way that um, this will stay stuck, I don't believe, because it's just too glittery. Okay, and then we're going to take our picture, turn it over and add it to our glitter piece, like so. And that's going to hold it nicely in place because it's such a nice um, glue, it's not going to be a problem on that glitter at all, you can already feel it gripping. And we're going to bring our card back in and we're going to place our little reindeer on our card, like so. Now it looks like we need to just move him up a bit, there we go. And I think it'd be quite fun to just raise him up slightly, so I'm going to use my glue gel on that and just put a few blobs on the back just to give a small amount of dimension, nothing too much. And I like plenty of glue because I couldn't bear it if the card um, sank, you know, by the time somebody got it in the post or something. For the sake of a bit of glue, it's not worth it. Okay, so then we're going to centralise that. And let's just gently press it down. And then if I just show you from the top, it's a very small amount of lift, but it just gives it that little bit of something. And now what we need to do is add our stickles to our actual image. And then we've obviously got to finish off some little bits and pieces around. I've got these gorgeous little crystals and I've got these lovely snow <laughs> and obviously I want to put my top coat onto my foiling just to protect it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just put this foiling or um, top coat uh, protected layer on the foil and it's just a case of painting this clear layer over the foil. Nothing too fancy. And that will just stop it rubbing off and it also gives it a really nice Trying to clean that up or lead. It gives it a nice shimmer. I don't know if you can cut there we go, look, it gives it a really nice shine. And then pop a little bit on there, a little bit on there. There we go. So that can be drying at the same time as our stickles and stuff is drying, so that's great. Then we're going to add stickles to our little bit of snow at the bottom of our little Rudolph here. And I think we could have a few bits coming out of the sky, like snow. There we go. And then I think a tiny bit on our little Robin's hats. There we go. Let me just bring that up so you can see that. And I think that looks really pretty. Can you see that on their little hats as well? Really, really pretty, sparkly. And then I want to put these little snowballs on the corners. And actually, just before I do that, I'm just looking at this little Happy Christmas and I'm thinking that that would look quite cute in the corner here. So I'm just going to take my glue gel, put a 
blob one end and a blob the other end and then just like a little tiny bit in the middle because that's going over the centerpiece hopefully anyway that's the theory and then we'll pop that just like so and I think that looks really sweet just having that there and then I'm gonna take my glue gel I'm gonna just take a little bit on my stick here and I'm gonna put a bit of glue gel in each of the corners and then that will make sure that those beads stay perfectly in place because they do have adhesive on them but I'm never that convinced by those adhesives I always think they're gonna come apart so we'll just uh, grab these especially on such a big um, gem thing I don't know what you'd call it they're kind of like they're not pearls they're not gems Anyway, we want to make sure they stay put. So I put one in each corner. And I'm just thinking that it would be fun to put three across there. So I'm just going to grab another little bit of glue gel and position those on there. extra two down in that corner there we go so I think that's looking really cool and I think there's only one more thing I want to do and I'm going to check that first whether I do really want to do it but I really wanted to use these little crystals and I think I want to put them in the corners here so I'm just again, I'm going to put a tiny bit of of glue in each corner, well three of the corners anyway because we've got the sentiment down in the bottom one there. And then we'll just grab our gems and gently pop them in position it's just that they're so sparkly it seems a shame not to use them there we go And I think that is our card done. I was going to use that washi tape, the um, uh, holly leafed one, but I think it really doesn't need it. We've used the washi tape on the inside, so I think that just looks a really cute Christmas card. And the foiling, once that's all dry, I think it's going to look really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to next just add a couple of these little stick pins with these gorgeous little red tops to them and I'm just going to put them in here with our sentiment. Like that and I think that just finishes that off nicely. And then very last thing I want to do is now that the protective foil coat, um, top coat has dried, I want to just add some glossy accents to that foiling to really bring it to life. Okay, so just taking our glossy accents and then just going over that areas that had the foil on and then we'll leave that to dry
then we're going to leave that all to dry but once that dries I think that's going to look so pretty okay okay so here's our finished card I think it's looking really cute I'm really pleased with it and I'm really pleased with the foiling I hope you um, like that too I think you'll really see when that's dried how gorgeous that foiling is coming up making this with me and I'd love to hear your comments and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye